Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. Wave motion transfers energy from one point to another without permanent displacement of the particles of the medium. A wave can be transverse or longitudinal depending on the direction of its oscillation. In this video we will look into the differences between longitudinal and transverse waves. First, let's know a bit more about them. Longitudinal waves, also referred to as compression waves, are waves in which the displacement of the medium is in the same direction as, or the opposite direction to, the direction of propagation of the wave. A longitudinal wave has a compression, increased intensity, of the medium particles and a rarefaction, a reduction of intensity. A typical example of longitudinal wave is a sound wave or shock wave. Transverse waves on the other hand, occur when a disturbance causes oscillations perpendicular, at right angles, to the propagation, the direction of energy transfer. Examples of transverse waves are a string on a guitar vibrating or ripples on the surface of water. Now, if we differentiate longitudinal and transverse waves in terms of how we describe them. A longitudinal wave is a wave where the movement of the medium is in the same direction as the wave. Whereas, a transverse wave is a wave where the movement of the medium is at a right angle to the wave direction. If we differentiate them in terms of their examples. The examples of longitudinal waves include, sound waves in air, waves formed along a compressed spring seismic waves etc. On the other hand, example of transverse waves include, waves formed over water surface, electromagnetic waves in stretched strings, etc. If we differentiate them in terms of pressure change. Longitudinal waves cause changes in the pressure of the different parts of the medium through which they pass. Whereas, waves do not cause pressure changes in the medium through which they pass. If we differentiate them in terms of transmission. Longitudinal waves can be transmitted through all the three types of media, that is solids, liquids and gases. Whereas, Transverse waves can only be transmitted through solids or over liquid surfaces. If we differentiate them in terms of transmission form. The longitudinal waves travel in the form of alternate compressions and rarefactions. Whereas, transverse waves can be transmitted in the form of alternate crest and tufts. If we differentiate them in terms of requirement of material medium. Material medium is essential for transmission of longitudinal waves. But, material medium is not required for transmission of transverse wave. If we differentiate them in terms of polarization. Longitudinal waves cannot be polarized. But, transverse waves can be polarized. If we differentiate them in terms of transmission in electromagnetic field. Longitudinal waves cannot travel in electromagnetic field. Whereas, transverse wave can travel in electromagnetic field. If we differentiate them in terms of speed. The speed of longitudinal wave is comparatively less to that of transverse wave. On the other hand, the speed of transverse wave is comparatively more to that of longitudinal wave. If we differentiate them on the basis of position in earthquake scenario. In earthquake, the primary wave is the longitudinal wave. And the secondary wave is the transverse waves. So. We have discussed about the differences between longitudinal and transverse waves in details. Thank you.